question. Harley, how do I, there's so much confusion, I'm not too sure. What's the best diet for humans? Fair enough question. I always say, if in doubt, follow your heart. We get taught, we go to university, we go to college, we go to a primal conference or whatever. We, we read some Dr. Atkins style book, some guy on the front page doing steroids, he's all cut. He says, eat bacon eggs for breakfast, don't eat rice or fruit, it'll make you fat. Eat bacon eggs and buy my protein powder. We have that sort of stuff. We have regurgitators just constantly spewing, vomiting meat and dairy industry propaganda and dogma, just spewing that meat dairy, egg, fish, propaganda, dogma to the audience, just blah, regurgitating it. And never acknowledging that humans actually have hearts. We, we, we have hearts. We this little thing here, the ticker, the ticker here. We have a heart. And people get told, oh, there's, there's no heart there, you know, you don't listen to your heart. We get told to regurgitate stuff. We get taught to regurgitate. We never get told to follow our heart. We never get told intuition. When you're told that, you go to these conferences, they just want to sell you bullshit. So some little plastic canister of crap. And have you disconnect with your heart, disconnect with your intuition. I mean, you see some bananas, and people, people go instant in the head, they go, bananas, isn't that too much potassium? Like, bananas, I don't know. They, they forget what their heart says. When, your heart, when kids see bananas, they're like, well, that's pretty cool. I'll, I'll put that in my mouth, I'll try it out. Tastes pretty good. Oh, it tastes good. Kids are great. They just, you can watch kids and they're just like looking at something like, wow, what's that? You know, people say, oh, we need to feed your kids meat. And it's like kids aren't, when kids, kids aren't walk up to goats and stabbing them. Baby kittens will catch a mouse. They'll stab it with their teeth. You take a kid to a petting zoo. They're going to jump in the back and go, hey, primal diet, paleo diet. I, I killed a goat <laughs> like my redneck dad. Kids aren't going to be doing that. Kids are great. Examples of following the heart. They're having fun. They're in the moment. Adults, we just start, we become regurgitators and then we teach our children when they get old enough to regurgitate the same crap and just totally disconnect from their hearts. It's incredible. Where do you get your protein from? What about piss? What about B12? All these things have been debunked over and over and over, but we still are so conditioned by the dogma out there that we believe this hype. We believe it. We, we, we don't want to go into our, what our heart says because we're so, well, you don't, don't listen to your heart. Like, that doesn't make sense. You've got to, like, Listen to the system, listen to the government, listen to the big corporations, the meat and dairy corporations and the, all that stuff and all the primal paleo gurus and you got to listen to those guys or listen to the wankers. Listen to your heart above all, always. So if in doubt, if you're not too sure but in social settings or what to eat, just listen to your heart, man. Heart's always right. <laughs> the heart is always right. And most of the time, the mind makes things bigger than it really is. Most of the time, the mind's wrong. Heart's always right. If you go through life with your mind leading your heart, you're going to live a life of quiet desperation. You're going to get fat. You're going to get sicker. You're going to get dumber. You're going to get unfitter. If you live your life with your heart leading and your mind following, that's the life we all want to have. That's the life we all deserve. It's all the, the life that we all can have. So every day, listen to your heart. Sit down. If you've got a tough decision, sit down in peace and quiet, tranquility. Just block everything out. Sit in the dark room for half an hour. And just feel what your heart's telling you to do, and that's how you make choices in life. Be it nutritional, relationship, whatever. That's how you make. That's how you make choices in life. Definitely follow your heart. Gandhi said, "Align one's life with one's values." People are talking about love and peace and kindness, and they go out and fucking shooting animals and killing them and fucking stabbing them in the face, and go, "This is paleo. This is primal. We've been fucking stabbing animals in the face for thousands of years. So let's continue the fucking craziness." It's like the craziness has got to stop, man. Listen to your heart. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Mm -hmm.